Hi, and welcome to CastNet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. A knock on the door from a passing stranger may have saved the lives of three men Wednesday night after a fire tore through a home on the 200 block of Rutland Road. Firefighters responded to the blaze just after 9.30 p.m. to find the home fully engulfed in flames. Several propane tanks on the property exploded in the fire. A man walking by saw the fire and banged on the window, waking up the three men living inside who had gone to bed early. The cause of the fire is still unclear. And wildfire season appears to be in full swing this week, with two rapidly growing fires kicking off northwest of Kamloops and west of Lillooet on Wednesday. The out-of-control fires grew quickly through the week, with the one near Lillooet forcing the evacuation of two homes at Anderson Lake Thursday night. The fire northwest of Kamloops grew to 1,600 hectares by Friday, but isn't threatening any homes. BC wildfire crews have been fighting both fires on the ground and from the air. Nine homes were evacuated in the small community of Twin Lakes after the lake level there rose nine feet in the last month. On Wednesday, about 70 military personnel arrived on scene to help shore up flooding defenses. It's a very delicate situation. It's pumping, we think, about an inch a day with the pump that's on. And so that would take 180 days. That takes us to January to just get down sort of to the normal levels. Police responded to a shooting at a home on Penticton's Government Street at about 11 p.m. Tuesday night. Police said the house is well known to police and is a problem property. Uh, they're a bunch of young kids okay. and they're, they're trouble. A 30-year-old man suffered a gunshot wound and is recovering in hospital. A 52-year-old woman died in Tofino last Sunday morning just hours before her daughter, from Vernon, was set to get married. Anne Wittenberg was floating on a surfboard with her 21-year-old daughter when a wave pulled them in. The twin brother of Wittenberg says the mother fought to save her daughter, but was unable to save herself. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Looking for things to do? Find our event section under our blue Our Town button in the yellow masthead. Also, post an event for free anytime.